Y'all, I've heard it a thousand times before, okay? It's just... It's just not that funny anymore. You know, I feel like some people watching this are gonna get that, and then some people also are gonna be like, what? Listen here, bronies. The day you see any pony porn on the archive is the day I take a sawed-off shotgun and put two new holes in Pinkie Pie's skull. How's that for your pony porn, you dickless fucks? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to say not any time soon, Anonymous. So, ooh. Lord have mercy on my soul. I want to sit like this because I feel extra smart right now. Let's sit like L from Death Note. It's been a week, man. It has been quite the big week for me. I will say that confidently. It has just been like thing after thing after thing. Kind of trying to just go with it. And it's hard, you know? Thankfully, I learned my online classes don't start for another like three weeks. No, two weeks. But that's two weeks, you know? I don't know how long, that, you know, God knows where I'm gonna be in two weeks. And also I still haven't found a job, you know? I did a little thing, I took a thigh pick the other day and I was like, you guys think Papa John's will hire me? I don't think Papa John's is gonna hire me because they have not called me back yet. And you know, that makes me really sad, Papa John's. I really wanted to work for you guys and make better, fuck, better pizza with better ingredients, but you didn't let me. So, Jack in the Box didn't want me either, nor did Dollar Tree. You know, I'm just thinking about working at a gas station at this point because, like, the worst I'd have to deal with is a tweaker on occasions. You know, I, I feel like I, li I like tweakers, you know what I mean? I had this one, like, Native American guy come up to me once at a gas station and he was like, Hey, um, so, um, um, yeah, hmm. And he, like, showed me his joint he was smoking and was just, he was just making noises. He wasn't speaking any kind of language, I don't think. Um, he was just going like, oh, so. I gave him five bucks because I didn't really know what he was asking there, but he showed me weed, so I assumed he either was offering me a hit or offering me uh, to give him money for more weed. I'm not sure what exactly he was doing, but I gave him five bucks and he said, Spag! And then he walked away. Native American guy, if you're somehow watching this, I hope you used that five dollars well and bought some nice weed or something else. I don't know what kind of nice weed you could buy with five dollars. Hey, God knows how many other people might have given you some money at some point. You know, and then it could all add up and you could get yourself a nice, like, dispo pre-roll. Because you're definitely over 21. Who's stopping you? Can you... You can just go into a dispo. Is there, like, can felons do that? I'm pretty sure they can, right? Yeah, like, if you're a felon, you can still go to a dispo. People that have dispensaries or, like, or legal cannabis in your state tell me this. Arizona has legal weed, too. But I don't know, and I don't feel like looking it up. I'm not going to be 21 for another, like, two years. I'm not 19 yet, either, so not even. But, like, I'm, you know, I'll be 19 and... Oh jeez, 11 days. It seems like nobody on YouTube really liked the Band for Equestria clip that much, and that made me kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. People on Vidly seem to fuck with that. My people on Vidly watching this, thank you for your support on the Band for Equestria playthrough. I literally, that was horrible. I did not like making that video. I'm not saying I'm against clopping. You do you. Sorry that video wasn't too hot over here on, on the tube itself, if you guys would rather hear. I noticed um, people seem to really like my e-punk content, so I might just make more stuff about that. But I'm not sure how much content about, like, e-punk I could really make, especially in that little niche click of, like, post-hardcore-based e-punk um, that, like, you guys seem to fuck with. Ooh, that'd be fun, actually. I could fuck with that. Ranking all of Death Tech songs? That'd be really cool. Like, his official ones, though. Yeah, I might do that, actually. I might do, like, a ranking list of all of, like, Death Tech songs, or all of, like, Eyeliner songs. Or any artist, I don't know. Also, I might start doing like anime reviews and like video game reviews and stuff. Not like Scott the Waz type shit or like retrospective type shit. They're not gonna be like hour long videos. If I look down like this, I just straight up look like the kid from Gorillas. That's fucking insane. Damn, I'm ugly as fuck. That's a rough, it's a rough day to be Brandon, you know? This is a wasteland, my home every time. I've been above you, there's hell over me. Um, or something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, just wanted to make a little random shit with this video. Um, I actually recorded one of these, like, three days ago, um, and I was gonna, like, get it done and everything that day, and then I was like, this is fucking horrible. I didn't like it, personally. I just kinda, I wasn't even really acting like I was making a video, I was just kinda, like, doing my thing and, like, recording myself mumble to myself, which is normally what I do for my videos anyways. It doesn't really, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. So, pretty much, I'm, like, just... I wasn't present with the camera and my audience like I am in this video, at least I like to think. I like this a lot more. I think this is way better. You know, I kind of wanted to do like a weird thing like, okay, hi, so my name is Brandon, but that would have been like the cringest thing in the world. That alone was pretty cringe, dude. <laughs>